yeah hello guys you are highly welcome on this video i will show you how to cut and sew this apple patch pocket on the senator dress as you can see fashion is very sweet imagine you sew this kind of pocket on your clothes and people will be like wow are you, how are you able to come up with this so on this video i'll be taking you through the step by step method on how to achieve uh, this patch pocket so without any further delay let's jump into the video but before we do so, if you are here to click on the like button, don't forget to like the button so that a lot of people will be able to benefit and they will be able to learn from this uh, video. So now, here is the process. Now the first thing you have to do, I will be making use of this uh, French cuff to create uh, the apple. So this is the easiest way of uh, creating uh, this uh, apple. So a lot of people are have, having challenges on how to create this. So first roll a circle. And then place the second hole on it like this and then you roll the second circle like this then the down part you create a little v shape of the down part so when you are able to get that you take to the top and then you create a little like a just slanting it a bit not as curved as the one you have at the bottom so that is it for now to create uh, this thing and then the next thing you have to do is to you can see that the down part is a little bit sharper than the upper part so just locate a very good uh, area on this uh, french curve to create a little half circle on the side of this uh, circle we have a rule before and then just mark it like this and that is it so you can now cut it out So please, if this is the first time you are checking on this channel, you are highly welcome to Nobuti Fashion Channel. This is the channel that brings you the easiest, fastest and the simplest method on how to achieve anything on the men's dress. Please, I urge you to click on the subscribe button so you'll be able to get a lot, lot of videos that are for you on this uh, channel. You can see that shape, you can see that it really come out very nice. And this is the logo on the top, so you draw a circle like this and then draw a half circle by the side then you cut it out like this yep so this is the pattern paper that we are using so i use gum stay for, for this so now you take a uh, wording so this is the wording which is uh, used to pad the suit so this is the face of the wording so this is the area where the gum is so you take the area where the gum stay and you place this thing on it like this so you place it like this so no you turn it to the other side so the exact way the apple logo is so that is the same way you will place it like this so whatever you are using the same way it appear so that is the same way you will place it on the wording and make sure that the wording is a facing upward that is the area where the gum is is a facing a upward so we are cutting three of this so you can as well roll it out like this so we are cutting three for this and then if you are using another pattern make sure you follow this uh, procedure so this area where the gum is should be the one uh, facing upward so once you roll it like this you just cut it out and that is it so i've cut the the three so this is it now you can see that so one two three and that is it so the next thing to do is to cut a three of this also yep and that is it so this is a three for the other one and then you take the material you are using for the pockets so whatever you are, the material you are using, then you place it like this on the center. So you place it like this. Then another thing you have to do now, this T, this uh, wording, it can be a little bit uh, difficult to go to the material easily. So one thing I have advised you to do is to use a just small emmy gum and then place it down. Then you place a pressing cloth on it and then you press it. So make sure that you apply a very lo a lot of pressure and then you gum it one after the other. So one thing that you have to do here is to gum it 
one after the other if you got me together the thing will not uh, go so you have to go meet one after the other and then you can uh, put a uh, aiming gum in between so now you this is the upper part so if you place it like this it will be wrong so you have to place it as if you are making a mistake so as if you are making a mistake so that is how you will place this so know this how it's supposed to be but if you turn it way around like this you can see that it gives you the normal results but i think there is a mistake here I, I made a mistake here i'm supposed to place it in the wrong way so i'm placing the down part at the upper part so i have to turn it over again so this is how it's supposed to be so you can see that it's now correct so this is how it's supposed to be i'm placing the one the, this bottom now i was placing it at the top and that was the mistake that i made so if you want to do this you place the stay as if you are making a mistake don't place it the right way it's supposed to be when you turn it outside so you gum, gum it very well please i hope that is understood and you can see that this shape now it's facing the left hand side it's facing my left hand side and when i turn it over it will be facing the right hand side so that is the right way of uh, placing the apple logo so you place this three and then you gum it uh, properly please make sure you follow all these uh, procedure all these uh, procedure all these tips that i'm mentioning in this uh, video that is very important so you press it very well like this and once you are done with that you turn it to the front you can see that you can see that it's now give us the normal form it's supposed to be on the front so you can now press it very well and this is the stay that i'm using so the normal measurements we use for the stay which is a 4.5 by 5 so that is 5.5 so that is what i cut for this and then you get the center you place the center like this and then you press it so i want to change this ion so you press it like this and once you are done with this make sure you press all this edge of the of the logo so that will give you a very nice uh, shape so after you are done with this we go to the sewing machine so here is it now so you have to stitch the tip that is very close to the logo but once you are doing this make sure you do it gently even if you can use your hand to roll the wheel that would have been much more better so i'm just rushing here and i fast this video so that the process will not be too long and then tedious so that is why i fasted this process you make sure that you take it gently while you are stitching this and that is it so i don't want this video to be too long then the next thing to do is to stitch the one at the upper part here And that is it you can see that it's very easy and simple it's very easy and simple and they look very nice so just proceed to the table and do the ironing and this is the result after i've done the ironing you can see how nice and beautiful the thing is so whatever the logo you want to create you can use it to create the logo and then come up with your own design so there's still another process you can use to achieve this which i'll be showing you in another video Please hope you enjoyed this video and if you do, don't forget to click on the like button and click on the subscribe button if you are yet to subscribe to this channel. Till the next time that I will bring you another video like this again, I say thank you for watching and then bye for now.